Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes 9 and 10 of March Comes in Like a Lion. Okay, so before we get started, um, there's something that I wanted to talk about, and this is not me getting on anybody. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Kyoko and kind of why I currently, as of right now, dislike her. And I, cause last week I got messages saying, oh my god, like, no, don't, don't hate Kyoko, like, this is that and third and it's like I, I don't <sighs> hate is such a strong word so I'm going to say as of now I dislike her I don't like the way that she's currently treating Ray because of the fact is she she takes her anger out on him because of the fact is her when her dad gets upset um her dad takes it out on not only her but her little brother and so she when she gets angry she lashes out on him which I think is wrong you shouldn't have so like I get the fact especially as a parent uh, not me I ain't a parent <laughs> but if I was a parent um when uh when a parent does lash out at a kid it really f's with the kid's mind and stuff like that and I get that especially when they're doing something bad but I've seen parents who even lash at people who lash at someone just for doing something good. And it's a little weird to me. I don't think he ever lashed out at these kids at any time when they were doing something good. It was only really bad. But her, the, her body language is very, very like bitchy and is. And I'm like, oh my God, like whoever is her freaking VA, she's doing a damn good job as her because she's very, her VA, it, because someone said her VA is, um, what's her face from Monogatari? And I think if, if I know who it is, so Momo's VA from My Hero, I think that's who we're all talking about. The girl who was all, the, um, the silver hair girl in Monogatari, her, not Shinobu, um, the one who kind of, who, the, the, the math girl, her, her, the, um, the freaking, uh, da, 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 <laughs> the, uh, the student council president, I believe, before Subasa and, and such, her, I mean, that, if that is her, then that makes sense, because there, there are some actors that, from TV shows and movies that I've watched, and also VAs, where I love the VA, but I can't, or I can't really reconcile or like or really trust their character or I hate their character. And that just tells you they're doing a damn good job of portraying this character. If that is her VA portraying this character, she's doing a damn good job. Because, I mean, she she really makes me hate for this girl. But then at the same time, I do sympathize with her. I do want to know a little bit more about her. I want to know what the freak is going on between her and her boyfriend. Hell, I'm still questioning last week. This hoe was like, if he hit me, I'm going to kill her. I, I'm, I'm going to kill him. I ain't got no problem on that. That's self-defense. I get that. Totally understand. I would be one of them people up in that, you know, courtroom where everybody else. I'd be like, she did it to protect herself at the end of the day. So I, mm -mm, she don't need to go to jail or anything. Let her do some community service and then, okay, that's it. That's all. But I really am praying that we do get an episode on her because I need a little bit, a little bit more on her backstory, despite like kind of after when Ray moved out and eventually she moved in with her boyfriend and what her boyfriend's demeanor is like, because I felt like now the boyfriend is just a complete and total asshole, even though I haven't met him yet. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode nine in three, two, one, go. So how's your week? But uh, uh, for me, this week has been a good week, but then also a bad week. So remember how I told you guys that my aunt passed? Um, so today was her funeral. And unfortunately, my mother and I weren't able to go. So we watched it in a live stream earlier this morning. I had to wake up super duper early and get up. And that honestly kicked my ass. Uh, I had a, I was very stressed this week with some other things and everything, but today after the funeral and everything actually I had a really good day um one of my best girls came home for one of the games that I played and I came back home and I kind of took a nap and procrastinated and I was like I need to get this stuff done and I said well I'd rather do it at night because I'll have a little bit more energy and this can all edit while I'm sleeping 
or while I'm staying up and then while the second video is editing I can just sleep but yeah I hope you all had a good day Inish. I mean I did even though the week is not over who knows what the hell is gonna happen in these next few days like oh uh. and I can't believe it's already December because I can't even believe we're already in the last month because this year went by too fast it was January February quarantine December I'm like, where the hell did the time go? No. Uh, Kyoko? Kyoko. I still like her though. I just Oh <laughs> just wanna be like Ah But seriously to me her VA sounds more like Diana from Little Witch Academia, Kyoko Kiriri from Danganropa, and a couple other people who I like who she voices. If that's her VA, I'll look after. The guy with the silver hair? Yeah. Well, not the one I was referring to, but the younger. Who knows? You could go up and ask him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I thought he would be like really upset. Poor baby. Hell of a feel depressed too after whatever that said, that fortune. Uh. Excuse me. Are you okay, sir? Mm. Oh. Ray, baby, I have no clue. Who knows? No one really knows. You could still be doing this. <laughs> eh, 
I mean, it's a smart move. What's up? Don't make me spit out my water. confusing himself possibly because I, I don't know he kind of seems like he has a plan no never mind I don't feel like he has a plan he he's just winging it maybe no are you okay <laughs> do you want uh... Is that supposed to, like, oh my god, no, oh my, I'm not even a Star Wars fan and I know a reference. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you put freaking Darth Vader. <laughs> that was honestly really cute. <laughs> Between this and Pop Team Epic with the references, I can't. I'm gonna laugh if I see a freaking Avengers one. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it really is. I feel so bad for him. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Would that be game over then if he captures his his rook? <laughs> I think he wants you to just go ahead and do it. It's even. I feel like there's no end to this. So, how'd it go? <laughs> I mean, well, it doesn't seem like a really bad attitude. I, I But I think he's a little happy secretly inside the you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think he's gonna- Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, no, are you okay? Oh. Uh-huh. Well, no one likes doctors. Everyone kind of hates going to the hospital. But- uh Are you hungry? <laughs> Wait, Ray, do you even have enough for them? Mm -hmm. 
It makes me wonder, because I don't know this, and I would like to know this. I would love to search this up. With people who are shogi players, athletes, whoever, how much do they get played? I mean, do they get paid per victory? Do they possibly get paid for a defeat, but just not just mu- not as much as it would be if it was a victory or something? I don't know. I mean, th- th- as someone who wants to be an entertainer, entertainment journalist, because I like celebrities, I, I only know what's their- like. I know my ish, but I don't know anything about no sports. And that's why I'm like. That's why I'm only gonna go into celebrities. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh, no. But still, it, it's something that I've always kind of wondered because I'm a girl. I'm not into sports as much as like one of my girlfriends who freaking loves the crap out of football and stuff. I'm like one of them girly little tomboys where I'm like, yeah, I, I literally don't give a shit about any sport. I'll watch it to watch it just to be there. But I'm going to be like, you need to explain to me. But that's the biggest thing that I've always wondered. Like, how the freak do they get paid? Do they get paid with every victory and every defeat? And now looking at that, that I'm kind of hungry. But I ate pizza already, like, three, four hours ago. He's paying almost five... No, he's paying almost fifty dollars! $50! He's paying $70! She just got a Russian bitch face. I mean, that's okay. Yes. <laughs> I take a little offense to that. <laughs> no, he's a kid. He doesn't know anything about alcohol. I mean, well, at least he knows the stuff. I don't think he's getting drunk on that little small thing of sake. Now, if they bought him that bottle, oh, that that's a whole nother story, but... Mm. No, they bought that bottle. Yeah, he he is just drunk right now. But he's re- he's one of those types of drunk who knows his shit when he's drunk, and he will say anything he needs to. Oh, he is. He's gone. He's straight gone. It 
it's okay. It's all right, Ray. You know, one day you're going to get drunk and you're going to be like that. I I have actually been like that. <laughs> and, and it was one time and one time only. I have only been drunk once. And that was on my birthday. <laughs> on my 21st birthday, which was probably the best and worst day of my life. You still should have walked home with him. Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, he has to. He's... He precious doll. Hmm. Oh! I was about to say that too, because that's typical with almost any sport. There's always someone new who's going to come in and kill someone to eventually to retire. And that's almost like with anything in the workplace, any career. That's okay. I get that. Even though you've been doing it for 40 years, how can you even know? Oh my god, that picture. Oh, so pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh. Which is how you feel, Ray. Of course.
of course. I mean, that is true, but... <laughs> I think it was because, you know, Ray, like, lit a fire up in your butt and be like, mm, can't quit now after four years. <laughs> Bruh, are you serious? Yeah. Well, you're going to learn it today, unfortunately. <laughs> this is cute. I like it. I like him as a character, honestly. But, I mean, oh, okay. Like, I like the fact that also Kyoko was more supporting in this episode than she was last week. So, yeah. I, I mean, mm, so good VR. Just, we're still wondering if it's Momo or Diana. It's it's one of the two. And my money is on freaking Diana slash Coco Kitty Kitty from Danganronpa. And any other anime that I've seen her in because... Her VA is like, she ain't my number one. She's like in my top ten. But yeah, her VA is mwah, good as hell. Like, oof. But, oh, I was not expecting him to come out and say, this is the reason why I don't want to quit. Because the fact is he doesn't want to be like a normal person and do normal human things like chores, take care of babies, washing clothes, ish like that. But routine of everybody we all have something that we have to do I really thought his like message in this backstory was very inspirational inspiring in a way I liked it I really much enjoyed it hell even seeing a character drunk it seeing drunk characters probably always is like <laughs> makes me happy just to wonder what in the world they're going to say because as someone who got drunk drunk on her 21st birthday and the shit that was coming out of my mouth, I'm like, like, you know how when you can kind of still, like, you're still kind of there, but you're, you're drunk, like, you're in the in-between, and you're sitting here, and you're like, what the hell am I talking about? Like, <laughs> my, my behind, like, me and my girlfriends, we were just, like, just sitting there drunk. Well, two of us was. The other one had to go home early. But, uh, both of us were just, like, drunk. I don't know what. We was up at, like, 3, 4 in the morning watching Bleach on, like, Adult Swim and just having <laughs> random conversations about everything. And the next thing you know, I wake up and it's, like, I think 11 12 o'clock in the afternoon or morning and I had like the biggest hangover I was just like oh my god I didn't want to go anywhere I was like bruh I just want to eat and go right back to sleep I was like mm. no like never again like unless it was something I had like a really good celebration then yeah but like I like my limit like sometimes depending especially like when I'm at home like if it's been a good week and I'm like okay yeah I'll take a I'll take a little wine cooler and I'll be okay with that and then I'm fine I never want to really have anything for like months and usually sometimes it is like that like I won't have anything for like months I'll just either drink my lovely water or some juice or some soda but like occasionally like I know when the new year's is coming I will have one probably glass of champagne maybe and then that'll be it but yeah this episode was really good I really liked it. <laughs> I thought he was cute he was sweet I mean like typically sometimes in my opinion the old person or elder character is like I always love them. I have a little big softy for them. There are a couple that I don't really like and such. But he was just so sweet. I honestly cannot wait to see what else is in store for him. So hopefully we get a little update with him, you know, in a blue moon. So maybe like five, ten episodes from now. Maybe even episode 25 or something. I don't know. But uh, 
yeah, this is a really good episode. Kind of just warmed my heart after the day that I had. I had a good slash half bad day. But yeah, that was just like sweet and I loved it a lot. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Ow, oh my god, that hurts. What the heck? Excuse me. Are you just like, are you playing it like a uh, solidaire right now? Ah, ain't that funny? December, and we're in December. You're telling me Kyoko forgot a watch at your apartment? Something seems a little- Okay, never mind. There it is. I love the boots, though. Oh, I thought she cut her hair. Yeah, hold on. Because of that situation that we're not really going to talk about. Okay, no. That's just her, um, her sleeve. But her sleeve looks like it's a bandage on her arm. Mm. Of course.
Mm-hmm. And you're still pissed about that, though. <laughs> and show key pieces for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were. Well, of course, that's probably what he wanted, but, I mean... Oh. Yeah, they were... Of course they're going to be hurt. Not only that, but they're both jealous of you. They're... You're getting the most attention from their father than themselves. So she's taking it out on you. The brother, not so much, because... He's in his room alone, isolating himself. I get that. But Kyoko, yeah. Excuse me. Do you want him to come? Oh. <laughs> I mean, but Ray, you kind of, no offense, you need a little bit more friends than, you know, the sisters and, you know, Bakugo. <laughs> Maybe ever since that day. Yeah. To them, their presence just feel empty. Useless. But when they see Ray with shogi pieces... They see how much their father cares for him versus themselves. It's kind of... Uh, every kid maybe feels like that. Especially if, you know, you're getting a stepchild or a step-sibling or um, anything else. You will lash out at that other person. You may hate that person. Honestly, we want to win and not lose. So please tell me he's not going to, like, force himself to lose just for that. I mean, God, ugh, don't do that. It, it's stupid, but I, I get the reason why, if he does it. But at the same time, I don't know. It wouldn't seem right to do, you know?
Oh, the tension in camp. There's too much at stake for him. You lost, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know. It's just something kind of... I thought he would have fucked up. I thought he really would have just, like, did something to make him win so that he could go home and be happy for his daughter it it's the pride of a player I mean nothing because the match is over and you lost. Mm. I can't even imagine what he's going to do when he gets home. Of course he's going to drink more and gamble and stuff, but... Something also tells me that because of the daughter, he's possibly maybe hit the daughter or the wife. And maybe that's one of the many reasons of why the mother is getting tired of his bullshit. Because there's nothing else you think you can do. Did you lose? Did you force yourself to lose? No, he still lost. Okay.
I feel so bad for him. Honestly, I feel bad for any character in this series. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh. You could catch up to him and give it to him. You can make it if you run. You don't have to be such a dick. I know everything was writing on this. I'll probably never see him again. Hmm. 
him to live better after saying all that? I mean, I know he has to because it's what he feels truly right now. Damn, I really felt something with this episode. Like, not only emotional, but that rawness. Like, oh god, his VA did a really good job with this. Like, I felt my heart break. Like, hearing him yell was something I needed to... Like, he has all this pent-up frustration. And Shogi helps. Talking helps as well. I mean, this is some of the things that I kind of say to some people who I've talked to. And also to myself. And conveying because as someone who is a very shy and quiet person I'm not always going to be that type of person who is going to want to show my emotions because sometimes I feel like I shouldn't show everyone how I truly feel and that's just a whole different other story in a nutshell but yeah I I get what he feels this was oh god I just I felt every little thing, little bits and pieces. I, I don't know. I feel bad for what his face are using, losing. I really thought Ray would have rigged it to make him win so that, you know, his daughter could remember their final Christmas together being possibly happy. But because of the fact is Ray won in the end. It's not going to be the greatest Christmas for this girl. I do feel bad for that. Also going back to Kyoko and her brother. Yes, I get the Still, 10 episodes in and I get the way of a, a little. Like, if we're going to say a, percent, a percentage right now, I'd say 5%. I understand why Kyoko is the way that she is right now. I get that because we've all been like that. Whether it is with a family member, a friend, um another student whatever you feel jealousy towards that other person whoever they may be and you might lash oh my god like a baby she's so cute oh my god um (laughs) she he or she whoever you're going to want to lash out on that i mean sometimes that could be coming to um bullying problems depending on who it is but i just oh baby This is a good episode. This probably might have to be the best episode for Ray, in my opinion. There are probably others that you guys are, you have your personal favorites, maybe. I don't know. This could have been somebody's personal favorite episode. Who knows? But, oh, God, I just, oh, God. With some of these characters and people who he goes uh, um, against, like, they're kind of one-off characters. We're possibly going to see them again. Maybe, maybe not. I hope we get to, especially the guy from episode nine like he was really a really gentle sweet old man and I hope we get to see him again now this guy not so much I mean because of course there's nowhere to go but down since he's lost this match and of course he's gonna go home and drink he's literally losing everything now he's losing his his wife he's gonna lose his daughter his daughter might resent him for the rest of his life because of this she's not going to be able to have the best relationship with her father um, because of this. And, and it's like, I, and I do love the fact is that they're kind of showing like the good and bad, um, of Shogi. This is kind of like the good of bad of becoming, um, an athlete, a celebrity, um, an influencer, anything. There's always good and bad things about what career path you decide to choose for yourself. And, you know, maybe you'll see more of the good than the bad, or maybe you'll see more of the bad than the good. But, you know, for, like, from what I've seen, because two animes, including this, has done it 
with the drinking problem and to the point where it's gotten really, really bad. And sometimes in the end, the wife or even someone, whoever that person is living with makes them, you know, gives them an ultimatum and makes them choose. It's either me or the drinking. And sometimes they end up choosing the drinking. So who knows what else could really happen. But still, yeah, I want updates with these last two people that Ray has gone against. Hopefully we get it. But these two episodes probably really were my favorite. I think I like this one a lot more because Ray has so much tension inside of him and he needed to let it out and just shout out to the rooftops. Everybody feels that way someday when you are not having the greatest day and everything that you could Anything that can go wrong goes wrong and when it's bad it gets worse and you just feel a lot of pent up inter uh, emotion and frustration and you need to just let it out and everybody has different ways of letting it out but yeah both of these episodes were really really good and I can't wait to see the next two but other than that guys that is my reaction to choice episodes 9 and 10. I'm about to say I'm Izzy or a rabbit <laughs> of March comes in like a lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else. And next Friday for Patreons for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.